What's up, Cinema Shogun here, and I feel like I am almost about to lose my mind. For the past 12 hours or so, I have been combing through just endless amounts of Dre McRae and Von McRae footage. And for the life of me, I cannot understand why this woman had a following. Out of the hours upon hours of videos that I have seen from her, I have yet to stumble across anything with any entertainment value. I mean, this woman recorded everything. I've watched her shave her coochie with a toothbrush hanging halfway out of her mouth. I've watched her go on endless rants about God knows what. I have yet to ever see her make any type of sense or say anything profound. I have watched her shove pills down Vaughn's mouth while he's having seizures. I have watched her take hot steamy poops while talking to her audience. But yeah, I just don't understand why people were watching this woman in the first place and why they haven't noticed the red flags. I guess some people Rather watch other people live their lives as opposed to living their own lives. And, you know, when you're caught up in a situation like Dre McRae is caught up in now, and you have just endless amounts of videos online of you just recording everything, there's bound to be some evidence. There's a bound to be some things that you've said or done to possibly incriminate yourself. You know, when you have all of this footage and man, <laughs> everything I've seen from her, it's like, oh man, I should make a video on this and point this out. Oh wait, this is some evidence right here. I should point this out. And it just keeps building up. And that's when I had to really step back and look at the situation like, okay, this woman was obviously like losing her mind on camera over the years. When I go back to her older videos, she seems way more normal than she did over the past couple of years. And if there's been people out there following her like they say they've had, I've had people reach out to me saying they followed this woman for years. And no offense to you all, but I'm just wondering why, you know, like what was there to follow? It's just her life and her complaining about random things and endless amounts of videos of her like chopping up mangoes and fruits and pretending she's this health nut even though you could tell that her health and Vaughn's health was just spiraling downhill really fast both physically and mentally but yeah I mean there was just so much stuff that I'm like oh yeah this looks bad this looks bad this looks bad but then there were a few videos that were just downright incriminating like for the life of me, I cannot understand how she was allowed to say stuff like this online and not end up in jail. And I don't understand why this following of hers never said anything. And you know, once I made this YouTube channel and I started covering different stories and looking into things like this, it's a common occurrence. These stars and sometimes bigger social media influencers they get these cult-like followings and they just enable and encourage bad, crazy behavior. We see it all the time. And this woman has like a little cult following behind her as well, all of which believe they're taking these magical medicines and what have you. But anyways, the reason I'm here today is because I stumbled across a clip that I feel like could land this woman in jail where she admits to doing some things that are just totally illegal. But I don't want to say this for a fact, but from what I was looking at, there was references of this type of activities multiple times. So over the years, she was just, you know what? Let's just watch the clip. She'll speak for herself. Um, I don't want to ask how you feel. Do you want me to hold it when we cross over? I could I could put it in my food. Bowl. I would rather it be on me. Because if God forbid, like I would I would wanna I would wanna get in trouble, not you. 
Yeah, I'm a black dude from the south. I'm definitely going down. Yeah. Heather, uh, Xanax, yeah. Do they search you? Do they search you when you walk over? Um, no. Um, they, there's no metal detectors or whatever. I just hope there ain't no dogs, okay? Do you have to have a prescription there? Uh, no. <laughs> but even if we did see a doctor and we had a prescription, they'd still give us trouble, so. Y'all get ready for some bail money, okay? Now, if that were me, I would be behind bars right now. It's so weird how I make videos... Like, I made two videos on Dre McRae. YouTube held those videos. They wanted to comb over them and make sure they were user-friendly. They tried to tell me they weren't ad-friendly. Like, my videos were bad or something. Me talking about getting help for Vaughn. Yet, they allow this woman to sit on live, Facebook Live, TikTok Live, YouTube. It's all the same stuff. They all basically have the same rules. She's allowed to sit online and literally talk about smuggling substances across the border. You know, throughout the videos, she always talks about how Vaughn was taking Xanax. Sometimes she'll like stuff Xanax down his mouth while he's having seizures and stuff, but he didn't have a prescription for them. She was going to Mexico to get them. And in this clip, they just sit there and openly admit on live in front of hundreds or thousands of people that, yeah, oh, yeah, we're about to smuggle drugs across the border, but that's okay. Why is this woman not in jail right now? And then you look at the type of situation Vaughn was in health-wise, and you really got to start raising your eyebrows there. Was Vaughn being pumped with stuff that made his health decline, either, you know, accidentally or on purpose? I don't know. He obviously wasn't getting the attention that he needed. And she was acting like she was his nurse. And she was just administ you know, administering all types of pills and what have you. And obviously it wasn't working out good for him. And you know, that stuff doesn't just mess with you physically and messes with you mentally and emotionally as well. And when you're already stuck in this life with an obviously psychotic woman who is recording your every move, I feel like maybe Vaughn didn't feel like he had a way out. But also, if Vaughn really did try to end himself, I feel like he obviously probably wasn't in the right state of mind. Who knows? God knows what she was pumping him with. But what I find the most just, just, <laughs> the most crazy part of all of this is the fact that she preaches how like she doesn't believe in pharmaceuticals. She doesn't want to go get prescriptions from the doctors. She doesn't believe in that stuff. She wants natural cures or what have you. And then she proceeds to go to Mexico and try to smuggle Xanax across the border. Why? Half that stuff coming from Mexico is literally fake. I understand not trusting the health system. I get it. A lot of people, you know, are kind of iffy about it. I'm iffy about it too. You know, I, I really don't like taking too much medicine. I definitely don't like taking prescription pills. Definitely don't really like taking pain medication. You know, I've seen pain medication ruin people's lives. I lost my finger. I didn't even take much pain medication. I refused to refill my script and everything. I don't want that stuff in my body. I get it, but at the same time, I'm not going to like, oh, you know, well, I'm going to turn down my doctor and what they prescribed me and instead go to Mexico and get the Mexican version, which is probably, you know, not even what I'm really going down here to get. You understand what I'm saying? Like the type of stuff they're putting in these pills, you have no idea what you're getting. At least if you get a prescription for Xanax, you know that you're taking Xanax and you're not taking whatever the hell they might pump into this stuff, you know, across the border. But that didn't stop her at all. You know, I wouldn't be surprised 
if, you know, Vaughn was getting pumped with fentanyl and, you know, Vaughn probably didn't know it and maybe she didn't know it either. A lot of people think that she just straight up murdered this dude. I want you all to understand that's not what I'm saying here. I know a lot of people believe that she just straight up took him out. I think that's a possibility, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I do believe for a 100% fact that this woman is out of her mind, and that is very obvious. Was she purposely doing this, or was it just something that happened because she got obsessed with all of this stuff and it winded up not, you know, going so well for Vaughn? I don't know. I don't know. You know, at first we didn't even know that he unalived himself. We thought that there was something else going on. So the twists and turns that have been going on throughout the story have just been mind blowing. And I actually got to the story later than most, but I'm glad that I looked into it now. And I'm gonna to try to reach out to Vaughn's mother and see if we can do anything to help there as well. But now she's gone radio silent. You know, there's radio silence. Um, she won't accept any of my follow requests on any social media platform. So she probably already knows I've made videos about it. But if you all have information that you would like to send over, go ahead and send it over. But trust me, I'm going through so much footage and there's just, I have all types of clips that I want to show you all. But this one right here was like, bam, the proof in the pudding. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I heard her referencing the fact that she was getting stuff from Mexico in other videos, but here she is literally talking about, hey, I'm about to help you sneak this stuff across the border right now. You know, and she doesn't even have the sense to not have cameras rolling. Cameras are always rolling for this woman. So there just has to be, God knows how much incriminating evidence over the years, you know, that she's recorded, but I've already seen a lot myself. But this right here, if you ask me, it would be enough to put most people behind bars, but it's the world we live in. Let me know your thoughts about it, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all on the next video.